Well, congratulations. You know, if you dry that fella out, you might be able to sell him for firewood. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I found. You're in her seat. <laughs> now. Yep. Scarab skeletons. Flesh eaters. Well, I found them inside our friend's coffin. They can stay alive for years, feasting on the flesh of a corpse. Unfortunately for our friend, he was still alive when they started eating him. So somebody threw these in with our guy and then they slowly ate him alive? Very slowly. Well, he certainly wasn't a popular fellow when they planted him, was he? No, he probably got a little too frisky with the pharaoh's daughter. <laughs> well, according to my readings, our friend suffered the hom die, the worst of all ancient Egyptian curses, one reserved only for the most evil of blasphemers. Well, in all of my research, I've never heard of this curse having actually been performed. That bad, huh? Yes, well, they... They never used it because they feared it so. It's written that if a victim of the Hom Dai should ever arise, he would bring with him the ten plagues of Egypt. It's called stealing, you know. According to you and my brother, it's called borrowing. I thought the Book of Amun Ra was made out of gold. It is made out of gold. This isn't the Book of Amun Ra. This is something else. I think this may be the Book of the Dead. The Book of the Dead? Are you sure you want to be playing around with this thing? It's just a book. No harm ever came from reading a book. That happens a lot around here. So what's it say? Amun Ra. Amun Day. It speaks of the night and of the day. Suwe aharum hoktu psin mas ibet baya. No! You must not read from the book! Who's there? 